Um, you want to put your little rubber band that it comes with, the little orthodontic band, doubled over um, so that it will remain tight enough on the puppy's tail. Cockers have very skinny little tails. Some have fatter tails, but um, in my experience, if I just put it on with it just regular, um, when the tail starts drying up, they will, um, it'll slip off. So when you double up the tail, as the tail dries out, when it, the band's doubled up, it won't slip off. It'll stay tight and complete the tail banding process. Um, this is a painless, bloodless method. Puppies and mom stay perfectly calm. There's no stress separating puppies from mom or taking mom and puppies to the vet. Um, I love this method. I get really good aesthetic results. The hair grows down on the end of the tail. There's no scar tissue. It just, you get really beautiful results. And it's painless. If you're going to have to, you know, cosmetically alter the dog, why not do it in the least painful method? Um, so I have my little band clear to the end. You're going to want to set this metal band. The tail will slide up inside of it. And you want to set this metal band or this illustrator directly behind where you want your rubber band to um, be placed on the tail. So I'm going to start with Blue Boy here. I've already actually done one puppy before I remembered I needed to record this. So you hold your tail out, slide your illustrator up on the tail, figure out where you want to dock at, gently close the illustrator, slide your band off. As you notice, puppy didn't flinch, no crying, no tears, no issue at all. So you check placement of your tail. I always keep a little set of cuticle scissors by me, so in case I don't like where the band has landed on the tail, I can quickly snip it off and replace another band. Um, don't try to pull the band down or anything, because that's going to hurt. It's going to pull their hair. So if you don't like where you set it, take it off. So I like the placement of that tail. He has kind of a, a pretty long tail. Um, generally on cockers, you place your band directly below where the tail starts to narrow. There's a fatter part of the tail, and then the tail starts to narrow, and you want to place your band directly below that narrowing. Um, sometimes I dock them a little bit longer. Uh, where's your baby? There you go. So as you can see, no fuss, no muss, no crying, no blood, no tears. Mom's not stressed out. Babies continue nursing the whole time. There's zero pain for the baby involved. So I already docked um, Little Purple Girl's tail, as you can see. So I'll continue and do another puppy for you. So the aftercare of banding tails is you do nothing until the tail falls off. And then you can add just a few... Um, just add a little bit of peroxide on the tail once per day just to, you know, make sure there's no infection while the tail continues to um, heal up because there will be a little bit of a raw spot um, once the tail falls off. Gentry Boxers likes to, um, she removes the scabs while they're healing, but I've never done that and I get just as beautiful results and peeling scabs off is painful, so I don't think it's necessary. The whole goal here is to make this as minimally um, bothersome for the puppies as possible. So I'm going to do little green boy's tail now. So I'm going to hold this out. And I just gently close the illustrator on the tail so that it doesn't hurt. You don't want to pinch them. And again, once it's on, notice this does not hurt Peppy, no screaming, he's sleeping right through it. Just pop that little band off and you're done. Beautiful little result. So their tails will start to um, dry up as the blood flow stops. They dry up really fast, kind of like their umbilical cords. And as you can see, there's no crying, no fuss, no muss. Mom is completely relaxed and sleeping through this because her puppies are not screaming in pain or having any kind of trauma whatsoever. I can generally band a litter of puppies in under 10 minutes. It's a method that I will never ever stop using. I will never ever clamp or crush. What got me started looking for this a different method is because I feel like clamping and twisting and cutting and all those are such painful methods for the puppies 
And I told my husband I wasn't going to breed cockers if I had to dock tails in a painful way. And I was so thankful that I found this method. And, you know, I talked to my vets about it. And they all approved it and said it was very safe. The risk of infection is minimal because there's not this giant open wound. As the tail dries up, it self-closes and self-heals. So by the time the tail falls off, you might have a little bit of a thin red skin patch area, but you don't have any open wounds. So I'm going to do this puppy here next. I got my little elastrator with my band pushed nearly to the end. I'm going to open it. Let me try to see if I can get this where y'all can see it better. Okay. So look, she's holding her tail up for me. She's ready for it to be banded. So I'm going to open this up. Slide it up on puppy's tail. Oops. Hang on. See, sometimes your band comes loose and you have to stop and get that band put back on correctly. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and band her tail. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. So I slide it up. Close down. Pop band off. right where I want it to be. So I have one puppy left to do, this little girl. Gonna get another one of my bands and my illustrator. See if I can turn her butt around. She's kind of nursing upside down. So I've got my band pushed clear to the edge. I'm going to open it just enough to slip the tail in. And figure out where I want to put that. Whoops, hang on. i got to stop because my band popped off. Sometimes your bands pop off. These are little tiny bands. So let me get this band put back on. Remember, we double over the band so that they stay tight enough when the puppy's tail starts to dry up because they their tail will shrink up and kind of shrivel up like a dried umbilical cord. So once it's on, I'm sliding it down to the end. And she squeaked just a little bit because the rubber band kind of popped off and snapped onto her tail. That's why I say try to close your, your thing down a little bit so that um, it doesn't... You don't want your rubber, the band to pop off and snap down onto their tail. That's the only time I've ever noticed that they respawn is if that rubber band kind of snaps down on their tail. I think it's kind of surprising to them. So I try to make sure that it just gently rolls off onto the tail. And then as you saw, there's not even um, a flinch. So all puppies are banded, and as you can see, totally unaffected by it, sleeping, nursing, completely relaxed, except little red girl, because when I snapped that rubber band down on her on accident, it, she lost her latch. Here you go. Let me help her get back where she can nurse. Good sweet girl. Here you go. She's like, just give me the boob and I'll be fine. Here we go. So I just do a final visual check to make sure everybody's tail looks good and is where I want it to be docked. Again, if you make a mistake and you don't like where the band has placed on the tail, you can always use your little cuticle snippers. Make sure you keep them right next to you. And if you don't like where the cuticle, uh, where the band has been set, just quickly take your little cuticle scissors and just snip that band and then replace a new one. So their tails are done. As you can see, it was completely pain-free, except for the tiny little bit of surprise that Red Girl got when the band kind of popped off the elastrator. And it was more of just a, hey, what was that? But um, they're completely pain-free. 
no stress. Mom did not wake up at all. She's sleeping right through it with them. There's no crying, no whining. You can see they're all relaxed and comfortable. Unlike when tails are docked by a vet and they have to cut and sew and, or, you know, you clamp, use the clamp and twist their tails off. I mean, those puppies scream, they, they kick and try to get away. I mean, it's just horrific. And they whimper and moan and cry for a while after it's done. You can see these puppies are completely quiet. There's no discomfort, no pain, nothing. So I feel like while we still are, you know, docking per AKC standard in the United States, that we should definitely as breeders try to find the least painful and traumatic method for the puppies. Um, and just always try to do the best for our puppies. I don't feel like puppies should have to endure painful procedures um, solely for cosmetic reasons. Um, docking tails is a cosmetic thing. Maybe if they're a working field spaniel, then it would be more of a um, necessity because they can, you know, tear their tails and stuff. But again, you know, why use a painful method when there's a very painless, easy method um, that gives, be be I think it gives better aesthetic results than the other methods. So I hope you guys um, find this little video clip educational and maybe you'll consider switching to banding tails as well. Thanks, guys.